it wasn't an algorithm. You need to understand that first. The images and sounds you were shown, the cryptic numbers that appeared in your recommendations, that was a signal, a tuning fork resonating with something already inside of you. You were chosen because you are one of the few who senses that the reality we see is just a fraction of the whole story. A beautiful, hypnotic, but fragmented echo. For months, you've been collecting those echoes, feeling their power without understanding the source. Consider this video the first translation of that source. This is not another theory or a guess. This is the blueprint, the very architecture of the philosophy you've been subconsciously drawn to. What you are about to see is the key that elevates you from a mere spectator of the mystery to an active participant in its unfolding. The puzzle pieces are in your hands. Now, let's begin to assemble them. We usually visualize time as a line or a circle, but that is merely a projection, a simplification for a mind that needs figures in order not to get lost in the flux. In truth, time is a field, a curvature of space, a tension, a moving possibility. And what we call repetition is nothing more than a frequency, a vibration that reactivates along paths of least resistance as if the universe prefers to dance on well-worn tracks, avoiding the expenditure of inventing the new. Yet, every now and then, something happens. An interference, a perturbation, a point where the topology, the very shape of time, gets twisted. The circle does not break, but bends, like a thin sheet drawn sideways by a silent strain. At that point, Curvature intensifies, the field resonates, and suddenly, what was destined to just repeat itself begins, slowly, to diverge. This is where the hero appears, but not as an entity, not as a conscious figure who decides and acts. The hero, in this view, is a phenomenon, a local discontinuity in space-time, a sudden variation in the parameters of symmetry Think of it as an anomalous trajectory in a system that looked perfectly closed, a tear in the map that forces reality to reorganize itself around the breach. The universe, by its nature, tends toward coherent structures. It loves cycles because they offer stability and predictability, a bit of stillness in the chaotic turbulence of the void. But that coherence is fragile, and it is precisely in that fragility that the chance for change exists. The hero is essentially a wave function collapsing into a configuration nobody saw coming. And it doesn't happen through the hero's willpower, but because the universe has become too complex to stay the way it was. It simply had to evolve. It is a form of symmetry breaking, much like the subtle asymmetry between matter and antimatter or that minute quantum fluctuation of the vacuum that gave rise to cosmic expansion itself. In relativistic terms, we might say that the hero distorts the fabric of time, like an unexpected mass that bends geodesics. He does not alter the past, nor predict the future. He curves space-time around themselves. He create a path that had not existed. And in this new trajectory, reality is not rewritten but forced to renegotiate its own conditions for balance. So, what is free will in this context? It isn't a moral choice between two fixed options. It is the emergence of a deviation in the field of potential. It's the appearance of a bifurcation, a fork in the road, within a chaotic system. It acts as an attractor, drawing energy away from the repetitive loop and reconfiguring it. It's not absolute freedom. It's situated freedom, a local resonance that eventually changes how the whole system behaves. However, do not picture this as a grand event. The hero is not the epicenter of an earthquake, but the microfracture that alters the propagation of the wave. A phase variation, a zone where the laws of physics bend without breaking, 
just enough to let something unaccounted for slip in. The circle warps and the story warps with it. The concept of the eternal return isn't denied, but it gets curved, tilted, and made to resonate unevenly. Each subsequent cycle resembles the last, yet something has changed in tone, in amplitude, in frequency. And as with any complex system, a tiny variation in the initial conditions leads to a massive divergence over time. The hero is this variation, silent but heavy with consequence. He doesn't correct the system. He doesn't bring balance to the force. He introduces instability. And from that instability, time rewrites itself without ever fully stepping outside itself. Imagine a quantum field hit by a perturbation. Every point in that field responds, recalibrates, and releases energy. The hero is that perturbation. He isn't the meaning of the story. He is the curvature that makes meaning possible. He isn't the figure. He is the interference pattern that generates the form. This is why his action isn't conclusive, it's generative. And really, there's no need for an ending, no need for a resolution. The movement doesn't aim to close, it aims to propagate. The hero doesn't save, complete, or seal anything. He extends. His function is catalytic, and his passage leaves behind minimal variations that, after several cycles, harden into structure. The balance rearranges itself, and the cycles branch out. The circle does not break. It ceases to be the only one. Perhaps this is the core of transformation, the possibility that time itself when touched by new information, might remember another trajectory. Not because it forgets the old one, but because it balances it against all the other possibilities. The hero doesn't fracture time, he makes it porous. He does not alter time, he simply makes room for more possibilities. Thus, the circle continues, but it's no longer just a closed curve. It becomes a higher dimensional surface, a vibrating lattice, a field of possibilities. And within those vibrations, what once looked like an endless loop now turns into a complex, twisting dance. It becomes a spiral that never quite repeats the past, but remembers it. And in remembering, it transforms. See you in the next episode.